<laughs> the relationship between police officers and the communities they serve can sometimes be difficult. A program in Atlanta is hoping to fix that problem by offering homes for police so they can live in the same neighborhoods they're assigned to protect. One, two, three. This ribbon-cutting ceremony marks an effort to foster a better relationship between police and the communities where they not only serve, but now also live. Through the Atlanta Police Foundation's Secure Neighborhood Initiative, five officers will move into new homes in an area that could use the extra layer of protection. Officials see it as one solution to building better police and community relations. By officers living in the community, being part of the fabric of this community, it will change lives, and that is our hope. Recent police shootings of unarmed black men have led to rising tensions between police and citizens across the nation, with some cities reaching their boiling points, leading to demonstrations and sometimes major protests. But officers, soon to be neighbors, hope this kind of program will provide an opportunity to build trust within the community. The main issues that we have a lot of the times is that the officers, they don't stay where they police at. So if they get a chance to see you in a positive light and not always being negative, it's not always, hey, I'm here to arrest you, I'm here to take somebody to jail, I'm here to, you know, help you. Is there needs that, you know, that I can assist in? And that, that just changes the dynamic on how the community sees us. It's, 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 it's very good. It's a dynamic that some neighbors are already embracing. I was very happy because you got to imagine I had been here eight years and with no development happening and there's this sense of the area just not being safe. So I'm automatically thinking, hey, if police officers are willing to move in now, that's going to help the neighborhood tremendously. I would really like to be able to watch football with these guys one day, you know, and just really be neighbors. It's not just this, oh, you a cop, I'm a young black male. You can actually create a relationship where you understand each other. And I think that's a benefit for the whole, <laughs> maybe for the nation. Joining me now is Dave Wilkinson. He's the president and CEO of the Atlanta Police Foundation and Officer Jason Bain, who is actually purchasing one of these homes for his family. Uh, Dave, why don't I start with you? Being the part of the fabric, watching football, it sounds like such a great way to integrate police into the community. Why do most officers not live in the areas they serve? Well, as you can imagine, Michaela, Atlanta's like any other big urban city. It's hard for them to afford to live in the city. And so what we've done through this Secure Neighborhood Initiative, we partnered with Pulte Homes and several others to build 25 homes for police officers in one of our more troubled neighborhoods. As you can imagine, it's not only a terrific uh, uh, product for community policing, the officers being more engaged and living in the communities in which they serve, but it's also a great crime deterrent. You should imagine a police officer mm -hmm. living in the neighborhood and a, car par a patrol car parked in front of the house, how much safer that makes the community. Officer Jason Bain, you have worked this area for a while. In fact, you said that your kids are familiar with the area as well. It was important for you to apply to their program. I want to know why and how you think uh, it's going to help improve the, the community while you're there. It was important to me because just seeing it from uh, almost 10 years ago to now, I'm seeing the changes and it's, it's, a, lot, it's a lot better. It's, uh, you know, it's being that my kids... Uh, you know, have the opportunity to go play in a neighborhood. I think that's gonna it's gonna change the dynamics on everybody's uh, perspective on things. Uh, I already uh, there's an apartment complex across the street, and I already already been over there uh, throwing the, throwing the football around with some of the kids over there. So it's it's great. I just I just really uh, I'm really thankful for this opportunity. I think it's an incredible thing, and, it, and it's an idea of community policing, uh, perhaps at its finest. Hopefully other uh, it, law enforcement agencies will look at doing it as well. Dave Wilkinson, Officer Jason Bain, thank you so much for, for joining us today to talk more about this. Thank you.